look up behind me is the Alvis Supercar. The vehicle was made by Supercar, but on contract with a firm called Alvis, a well-known British um, military vehicle manufacturer. Uh, her job for her role, 6th Mayor Assault Brigade, is used for the parachute regiments to collect their, their supplies from, from the drop zones. The supplies come in in one ton pallets, the vehicle's got a built-in winch and a set of ramps at the back, allow it to be taken onto the back and delivered to the troops, whatever that may be, ammunition, water, rations, etc. The Supercat all-terrain mobile platform, with its six-wheel drive and low ground pressure, easily covers terrain where other vehicles would have to resort to tracks. Whether it be snow, sand, moorland or mountain terrain, it acts as a highly mobile platform for carrying and towing equipment. The ACMP, as it's called, the All Terrain Mobile Platform, and um, we use that for uh, various in, various tasks: um, ammo resup, water resup, DZ clearance. Uh, very useful vehicle, uh, mainly used for cross country, not a road vehicle, but very very good for cross country. Six wheel drive vehicle um, can cross any terrain. We've taken them to uh, Afghanistan, we've taken them to Macedonia, they've also had, had use for them in the Iraq, in the Octelic um, too. We've, just, we've had some go out there now um, for, the, for the deployment which was just recently. This is now the Mark III, we're going on to the Mark III, you know you had the Mark I and II before it and they had a few faults, so they never used to fit the roll cage and uh, obviously now they've moved on a bit, they fit the roll cage now for safety purposes. It's also a dual amphibious vehicle where it will cross water as well, uh, so we can use it for crossing lakes and things, river crossings. I went through my, my instructor course up in, in Leckenfield, up in Yorkshire. Uh, I was a bit naive at the time. The vehicle does have a swimming capability, however it carries 400 kilos and not a tonne and a half as I found out. I drove it into the water and went straight to the bottom. I quickly got the seat belt and got myself on top of the roll cage and was the laughing stock of the course basically. I've since then learned a few lessons. about 40 kilometres an hour, which is, which is more than fast enough cross country. The vehicle doesn't have a, its own suspension system that suits the tyres. She runs on diesel fuel, so she'll take 66.6 .6 litres. She will also run on aviation fuel, after if we don't have diesel. Uh, that'll take her about 200 miles, obviously depending on the, the terrain and the road you're carrying at the time. Across the region of £60,000, uh, at the moment the, the, the Army are holding, the British Army have 66 of the Mark III model, they also have some of the Mark II models still in service. On, at the moment on trial there's a trailer which, which is going to go with the vehicle, which has got a built in forklift and will pick up a ton load. The only real problem I would say is, is the low ground clearance. Getting it soft muddy causes a lot of problems, but however, we have a built in winch, it's provided we get something suitable to, put, to hook the winch onto, we can get ourselves out in most cases. when it's following the tank. That's his main problem because of the, the big tank rucks. The 
The Army are very happy with the new Mark III all-terrain mobile platform. Since that's come in, it's, it's been a very, very good vehicle for us.